Hello everyone, David Lee here, back with another video. Last February, I was lucky enough to attend the first Google for Education Innovation Academy in the Googleplex in Mountain View, California. In this video, I'd like to share some of the things that I've learned in the academy. I hope you enjoy it. I applied to the program and academy with the initial vision of finding a solution to artificial learning that goes on in schools. I proposed to create a framework that would help teachers create real-world learning environments where they complete meaningful, culminating challenges. You can watch my application video by clicking on the link below. From February 24th to 26th, my fellow innovators and I developed a plan for our innovation project. I teamed up with David and Jessica to start a project we call Educational Permaculture. I made a separate video about our project that you can find in the description. During this process, we had to identify a mission that matters, had to think big but start small, iterate and fail fast, share everything, and spark with imagination that is fueled with data. Throughout our work, we were provided with spark sessions by top educators on practical approaches, valuable tools, and techniques. Here are some things I learned during the spark sessions, accompanied with some of the sketch notes I took. First up was Gina Rosales from X, a group that uses moonshot thinking to make the world a radically better place. They are the people behind the self-driving car project, making it easier and safer for everyone to get around, Project Loon, balloon-powered internet for remote areas to help fill coverage gaps and bring people back online after disasters, and Project Wing, automated aircrafts that deliver everything from consumer goods to emergency medicine from the sky. Gina talked about moonshot thinking, an approach where individuals aim for 10 times an improvement over what currently exists. It takes a huge problem, finds a radical solution to the problem, and then uses technology to make the solution possible. This concept of going beyond my comfort zone, really pushing the limits and focusing on moonshots, really inspired me to make an effort to not only improve things in my school, but also transform education. Gina used the light bulb invention analogy to show how that was a moonshot and how it was a disruptive innovation. The jump from creating candles to trying to invent the light bulb was so drastic but ended up changing the world. She also mentioned the phrase, yes, and, a response used when developing ideas where one participant accepts what another participant stated and expands on that idea or thinking. This statement increases the chances of developing innovative solutions quicker and maximizes opportunities. Fail fast was a phrase that Gina mentioned where innovators rapidly prototype and test their solutions. That results in quick failures that lead to more improvements to the solution. These quick failures help innovators to learn faster and make better products. Mark Wagner from the EdTech team then talked about how the idea of moonshot thinking can be applied to education resulting in disruptive innovation that can transform education. Up next was Kevin Brookhauser, author of the book The 20 Time Project, which he graciously gave each of us at the Academy. His session emphasized on the importance of design and coding, how it can help students solve real-world problems. He first started by describing how his students created an app using MIT's App Inventor tool to help restore land that was being destroyed by an invasive species. The app helped people identify the invasive species and remove them from the area. Next, Kevin had us participate in the draw toast exercise, where we had to sketch out the process of making toast. This exercise was done to help us understand the systems thinking approach, where you treat things as systems to gain a better understanding. You can see how the interdependent structures of a concept, the nodes, are interacting with one another through their links. This approach can be applied to the problems we find in education, helping educators see the different perspectives of a problem, providing insights and understanding, and solving difficult problems by exploiting opportunities and stop issues from occurring. Ronnie Habib, a fellow certified innovator, presented a spark session on the importance of happiness and play in education. To do this, he had all of us stand up and perform fun games and activities. For example, he had us acting out different animals, throwing imaginary balls, and even dancing. While doing all this, we were smiling, laughing, and joking around. After these activities, we started to have meaningful discussions on education and found that we were more willing to share our ideas. 
there was a sense that there was an absence of fear of failure and judgment. And I think it provided us with an environment that nurtured creativity and innovation. Jay Atwood of the EdTech team presented his Spark session called What's Your Hedgehog? A hedgehog is great at one thing. It curls itself in a ball and protects itself from predators, a skill that it has perfected. Jay wanted us to find our hedgehog through a series of activities, things that we are good at, something that we get value out of and are really passionate about. Finding our hedgehog allows us to simplify our lives, concentrate on accomplishing one goal and do it very well. Towards the end of his session, Jay invited Jenny, another fellow innovator, who asked us, where is your why? She reminded us to stay focused on the why when we are trying to transform our classrooms, schools, and education. This question brings us back to the purpose of why we are creating change and makes it less likely for us to get distracted from the actual goal. Okay, I think this is a great place to end this video. I don't want the video to go too long. If you would like to see part two of this video or find the links to any of the topics I discussed in the video, please go to the description below. With that said, please hit the subscribe button and like button if you would like to see more education videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.